Well, this is the time of year when bugs come back. Uh, mm. Some mm -hmm. we don't like. My cat found its first moth yesterday morning. Ooh. Tis the oh, season. Gosh. Yes. Yes. It's fun for, Tons of it's fun. That time fun for yeah. him. Moths I don't love, but butterflies are a treat. Oh, yeah. Right? So yeah. pretty. Uh, my kids chase them everywhere. If you see a butterfly, the Butterfly Pavilion in Westminster wants you to let them know. And Danny New is here with more. Yeah, so the Butterfly Pavilion, they have over 2,000 butterflies mm -hmm. in their like controlled, perfect environment mm -hmm. in there. But they want you to help them learn about all the native species that flutter in Colorado outside, all over the mm -hmm. state. Because this summer, for the 11th year, the team is rebooting the Colorado Butterfly Monitoring Network. This is part of their community science program. We and your family can help them keep track of all the species so they can see where they live and they can protect their habitats. And of course, uh, I, I'm not a science teacher, but butterflies are very important to our ecosystem, yeah. right? They're pollinators. Um, this is kind of gross, but you know, other animals eat them, so that's kind of helpful. So this would be <laughs> really good for humanity and beyond if we protect them. And it's pretty simple. You go to this class, you train as a volunteer, and then you just report back huh. where you see a butterfly whenever you're out walking, hiking, even frolicking, all the time. <laughs> And if you want to get your kids into it, the Butterfly Pavilion is a great place to start their interest to peak that. Even if you're like me and you're kind of scared of them. Do you guys ever get scared of butterflies? No. no. Never mind. Moving on. Uh, they're not flying insects? Okay. Well, well uh, I took a tour of the pavilion with their lepidopterist, Sharon Hershkovich. She is from Panama, and it's really cool because she gets so excited to show you butterflies that you can find in the rainforest of her home country. They are gorgeous. So these are the Morpho butterflies. Whoa, look at that blue. That was a really pretty shade and of blue. They are um, totally shiny blue on the inside. Their color is entirely structural, so it's created from the way the light bounces off of its wings. So these are butterflies that were just born? Um, well, kind of. Kind of. Um, it is their first day as adult butterflies, so they have never had wings before. Um, before being the butterflies that you see over here, they were first eggs. From those eggs hatched some caterpillars. Those caterpillars ate a lot of leaves, and then they um, they pupated, so they created these chrysalis that you see over here. And today, these butterflies have emerged from their chrysalis. What kind of butterfly is this again? These are uh, giant owl butterflies. Because they look like owls. Because they look like owls. Um, so butterflies have perfected the art of mimicry. And these guys over here are pretending to be owls because owls are one of the scariest things you can be in the rainforest. And they challenge what we generally think of butterflies. Some butterflies feed on fermented fruits, like these guys over here. And some butterflies may even drink weirder things, like tears or blood. Tears and blood? Tears and blood. Are they vampires? They and are this is us? <laughs> that show fed off my tears, I'm just saying. How big what? were those butterflies? It was hard to tell, like yeah. up against the tree. Those How were big were looking. they? Yeah. Some would say too big. Not me, but others <laughs> might think that. Now I can understand why you're scared. Those yes. ones are a little scary. When they're there, and we're in like controlled wild, so they can fly into my face if they mm, wanted to. Yeah. Thankfully, they love the fruit, but they were like the size of my hand. Really, and that big. Some of them, and they were like right there. And that's what's cool about the Butterfly Pavilion that you know you're like with nature and they're flying mm, around you. Very cool. And then you can go find them in nature. You don't walk through, you know, yeah. swatting. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no. I was like this. I was so scared. <laughs> uh, but they actually have one of their training sessions this Saturday if you want to go at Ravens Nest Nature Preserve. Um, more information at butterflies.org if you'd like to attend okay. and become a monitor. Yeah. I, I don't remember the hungry caterpillar eating blood and tears though. No. <laughs> that would have changed the story up completely, right? Yes. A little scarier.